Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn Math with Sir Mark. And in this video, I'm going to discuss another application of infinite geometric series, which is about concentric squares. But before anything else, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be updated whenever I'm going to upload a new one. So if you're ready, let's go! Consider the construction that starts with the 12-inch square and contains concentric squares as indicated. Notice that the spiral is formed by the sequence of segments starting at a corner and moving inward as each midpoint is reached. A second similar spiral determines the area shown in red. For letter A, use the sum of a series to find the length of the spiral indicated in red. Okay, so let's focus first on the sum of this red segment. Okay, take note, uh, it will extend infinitely uh, inwards. Okay, so hindi ko lang mapakita dito. Anyway, so, ang sabi sa problem, the side of the square is 12. The original square. Alright? Now, next. So, we form a spiral. So, starting at the corner, okay, towards the midpoint of the side of the square. So, meaning kung midpoint yan, this one is 6. Alright? Okay, next. Second similar spiral determines the area shown in red. Okay, so... For us to get the the length of this one, it's important to get the side of the second square. Okay, how are we going to do that? If this is 6, starting from the corner, going to the midpoint, that's also 6. Okay, so therefore, isosceles triangle yan. So the relation here, if, this is, if, are, if the legs are 6, therefore, this one is 6 square root of 2. Right, 6 square root of 2. So, since... Uh, okay, so since midpoint yan, okay, so therefore the length of this one is 3 square root of 2. See that? Okay, so 3 square root of 2, 3 square root of 2 yan. So if I'm going to multiply this by square root of 2, that will become 6. Okay, again, this one is 6. However, since midpoint ulit yan, so the third segment, the length of that is 3. And so on. So, no need to get this one. Anyway, uh, we can, based on the illustration, so infinite geometric series yung gagamitin natin. So, uh, all I need to do is to set up yung series natin, or yung sequence natin. So, that is 6, 3 square root of 2, 3, and so on. So, we need to get the common ratio. Okay, so 3 square root of 2 divided by 6 is equal to 3 over 3 square root of 2. Right? And that is square root of 2 over 2. Then that's it. So, to determine the sum in letter A and sabi, determine the sum of the spiral. Okay? So, that is, first term ko is 6 over 1 minus square root of 2 over 2. And that is uh, 6 over 2 minus square root of 2 all over 2 or that will become 12. See that? There you go. You can further simplify this uh, by rationalization. So, yung 12 over uh, 2 minus square root of 2 is equal to, so hindi ko na mapakita because of running out of space. So, that's equal to uh, 12 plus 6 square root of 2. Madali lang naman yan. Okay. So, there you go. So, therefore, the answer in letter A is this. So, this is the total length of the spiral in red. Okay, so let's have letter B. Use the sum of the series to find the polygonal area indicated in red. Okay, this time we're after for the area of this triangle plus the area of this triangle, this triangle, and so on. Okay, so again, in our previous uh, illustration, okay, so we have this as 6. Okay, we have this 6 as well. Okay, so since we have a right triangle, so ang area nyan, product nito over 2. Right? So, that is 18. See that? Okay. Next. Again. So, ang sabi natin sa problem, so this one is 3 square root of 2. Alright? So, 3 square root of 2. Then, 3 square root of 2 yan. Siyempre, equal. Isosceles yan. So, that will be 18. Tama? So, 3 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 2 is 18 over 2. Okay. So, therefore, this one is 9. 
Okay? Okay, so let's get the third term na lang para sure na may common ratio tayo. Now, if this is 3, 3 yan, okay? So, kung 3 to, alright, syempre 3 din yan, that will be 9 over 2. And clearly, we have a geometric series, a uh, sequence, right? So, therefore, ang common ratio natin in this one is uh, 9 over 18 is equal to 9 half over 9. Okay, so that is 1 half. Alright, that's it. So, therefore, sabi, we're after for the sum of the area of the red triangle. Again, in my illustration, it will extend inward. Okay, so that is first term over 1 minus the common ratio. And that's simply 18 over 1 half that will give us 36 square units. Okay, square units. Oh, square inches pala. Okay, so it's not then. So 36 square inches. There you go. Okay. Next, letter C. Last question. Is your answer in part B reasonable? Explain. Okay, do you think, uh, how are we going to reason out if our answer is valid or not? Okay, so I want to show you this one. So take note, our answer is 36. Okay, our answer is 36. Okay, take note, the side of the square is 12. Okay, now, uh, to explain this one, okay, so take note, uh, okay, so take note, yung area ng entire square is 12 squared, so that will give us 144. And take note, 36 is 1 fourth of 144. Ano ibig sabihin nun? So therefore, if I'm going to make an illustration, so allow me to draw, alright? So, allow me to draw lines here. Okay. There you go. Now, I will show you that our answer is correct. Uh, I mean, reasonable that the, the area of the total red triangle is 36, which is basically one-fourth of the area of the square. So, now look at this. So, this portion here, right? So, this portion here is the same as this, right? Okay, so if I'm going to transfer oh, this one and this one equal lang, right? Then this area, tsaka to, equal then, eto, equal yan, eto, equal yan, and so on. Therefore, uh, if we're going to continue the process, ang masyashade ng portion actually is yung one-fourth nung square. So that's it. So that's the explanation of that. So our answer is reasonable? Yes. Okay, as simple as that. So I hope you learn something on this very short episode so don't forget to subscribe on my channel and feel free to share keep safe